Hi there, everyone. Welcome to Banjo Tooie, episode 24. Hello, Humba. We, in fact, do have a Globo. So today it's time for our transformation. So let's go into this pool of magic water within water. However, the heck that works. And voila! We are, in fact, a submarine. The creative title that Humba gave us. Alright. So this is a really awesome transformation. First off, yeah, that was for the Stony and the Detonator, but mostly the Detonator. She just I had to pay her back for that ridiculous transformation we had to go through. All those times we blew ourselves up. So the submarine is awesome. Just traveling around with it is nice. You can use this little sonar. It's cool to use, I don't really use it for anything. I think it can like scare off enemies, because the sound scares them, but it's more just it's cool to use. So. And of course the missiles, or the torpedoes rather, are awesome. Going to f into first person mode like this is really cool. So we have a couple of objectives with the submarine. First off, if you try to warp to the town, yeah, submarines, in fact, don't work too well on water, so let's not go there, even if we wanted to. The game's like, nah. So we're going to head back to the... I don't remember what this place is called. That underwater deep area. And when we go in here, we couldn't go in here as Baron Bird, because the pressure was too high and our heads would have exploded. Down here, oh, grunty. Yikes. This is, in fact, the minigame for this level that we can play as the submarine. We've got these little sea mines. Yeah, we'll hear the instructions, what the heck. I've littered this place, yeah. Grunny's a big fan of pollution. So it's similar to the other games where the point system's about the same. Blue Zor 3, Green 2, Red 1, 3, 2, 1. So this is another just ridiculously easy minigame. Just because the amount of points you have to get to win are just so low. <laughs> it's always like, get 40 to win. Oh shucks, looks like you got 89. So you can just just swim around well on these things. Shouldn't have any issues with this. It's funny, all of these guys being in one area, how dangerous this is. Lucky enough, they just kind of explode on their own. If they were all huddled together and made one giant explosion, Pretty sure Jolly Roger Lagoon in its entirety would be done for. We'd have to say farewell to Jolly and Mary Maggie and all those beloved characters. Even Tip Tup's baby. Huh? It's too grim to think about, so. I think, in reality, explosions like this would hurt the submarine, but I think maybe they don't let you take damage in the game? The minigame here? Possibly. I mean, I haven't taken any, so I'm not sure. So just ride around, just wail on these guys. How many did I get? I don't know. I got enough, but... And then we'll get a Jiggy for that. This is also another transformation that... To me, it, it gives emphasis to how much more I like the transformations in this game, as opposed to Banjo-Kazooie, because it just makes traveling a lot better. You just go around so much faster. As opposed to the first game where you would, you know, the transformations generally were slower than Kazooie's Talon Trot, so there was always the part of me where it just kind of felt like a downgrade a little bit, because I knew I had to move slower than usual when I used the transformations. So if you look at these, these are actually names of the developers, and we blow that one up with the D. Jones on it, which stands for Davy Jones, Davy Jones Locker. That other one had Grant Kirkhope on it, which is the game's composer. Really awesome guy. Really friendly. And of course makes great music. Now in that Davy Jones locker area right there, most people want to use the submarine there with the challenge coming up, but I went ahead and warped back to Humble Wumba, and I swapped to the Baron Bird to make this more challenging and interesting. Davy Jones locker. Oh no, we're locked in. A jiggy right there that we can just grab after some dialogue? It could be that easy. No. We have here Lord Wu F Fack Fack. Oh, goodness. 
Oh god, don't ever wake someone from sleeping. Yeah, that, that's just a death sentence. That's right, we're the mailman of this game. You have some bills you haven't paid, buddy. But if he's a Lord Wu, then, you know, he has servants to do all that. Uh, we weren't gonna do that, were we, Kazooie? Oh, come on. Kazooie just ruins everything. Alright, so welcome to the next boss battle of the game. And we are really fact-fact now, aren't we? Actually, this is not that difficult of a boss battle. It's just more... It just takes quite some time to do. So... As per usual, bosses will expose their Achilles heel one way or another. And for Lord Wu, it happens to be his little glowing boils that he has. So, all we have to do is swim around and shoot at his boils. Eventually, when we swim around enough with enough patience, which, with my rant just now about traveling with the transformations in the first game, that gives you an idea about how patient I am, but when you swim around like this, eventually you're going to be able to spot the boils and hit them. Now, a lot of people like to use the submarine for this boss battle which I didn't do, because with that, you don't have to worry about grenade eggs. You get the missiles, <sighs> torpedoes, and you basically get infinite ammo. So it makes this boss battle a lot easier. And plus, it also gives you an opportunity to use a transformation in a boss battle. This is the only boss battle where you can do that. But I thought it'd be a little more interesting and challenging if I had to worry about conserving my ammo. Because, you know, don't want to make the game too simple. I just, I just like to show off, although this one isn't really showing off, because, you know, it's not like this is some complicated battle. It's more just slow, is all it is. It's, it can take you quite some time, because navigating and locating his boils, a lot of times by the time you find the boil, he ends up turning around in front of you, and... But there we go. Oh, it seems so... Ugh. I'm making him bleed and everything. I feel cruel doing this. This game just wants me to be mean to fish for no reason. I don't know what it is. I mean, this guy seems to have a bit of a temper, but... I mean, hey, we intruded in his home. He had the right to... You know, defend himself for breaking and entering. We didn't break, but... Oh, well, no, we did. We blew up the locker. <laughs> so... What was I going to say about this battle? I thought of something else. Oh well. Maybe I'll think of it later. But after that, no, the battle's not quite done yet. The game tricked you. He was blind, but who was blind can now see. Yep, we got phase two. Yeah, for those of you who thought, oh, I'm already done with the battle. That was easy. Nah. Time for phase two. Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say. Sorry about that. What I was going to say is... Another thing that's pretty easy about this boss battle is if you swim into Lord Wu, uh, Banjo gets, like, knocked away and makes noises as if he's getting hurt, but you actually don't take any damage. <laughs> so, and I, I cut it out in many different areas, but swimming into Lord Wu is something I did pretty often. I probably would have taken a lot of damage <laughs> if you could actually get hurt by swimming into him, but the game's kind enough to... Make it to where that doesn't happen, so... Anyway, ramble, ramble. In this second phase, we just gotta sh keep shooting his eyes. And it gets more difficult because he starts, like, shooting things at us and shooting these little toxic bubbles, but... It's it's similar to the first phase where you just gotta be patient. You usually just kind of swim around, aim at his eyes, and then just shoot like crazy. Now, I don't know if while he's shooting at you and glowing and all that, I don't know if he's, like... He's protected to where his eyes don't get hurt, because it seems like if I shoot, like, right there... See, he didn't take any damage. You know, it's like certain times he won't, I don't know. But with enough patience, he is now fact up. We are having fish turnover tonight. Ah, oh, the poor guy. Curses. Like, has anyone in real life ever said curses? <laughs> it's like always the thing that... A bad guy says because it's an E-rated thing where you don't want him to be swearing. 
Pretty sure no one has ever yelled curses. <laughs> but for doing that, we get a Jiggy. And this boss actually doesn't die, but... I don't know, I think this fate's even worse than death. The poor guy just has to lie around for eternity, just in his shame. He was a lord. And now he's about as... Now he's reached the level of a peasant, pretty much. What's funny is you can swim around here, and he actually has some random dialogue that pops up. He says he fought well. I don't really know about that, but... Eh, we'll give him some sympathy. Oh yes, this happens all the time. Wow, you're not much of a lord, then, if you can just be overthrown that easily. Leave me alone now. I think I need some coin. Okay, okay. And just to show this off, you can actually shoot him with grenade eggs, and we get a little bit of dialogue there as well. Used to be a hero. Stop that. My father? What? Where are Banjo's parents? It's a good question. No more jiggies. Well, he wasn't a mean, rude, terrible boss, so we'll give him that wish. We'll leave him there to... Just be in his own thoughts, have a little quiet time. So, at this point, we are pretty much done for the time being with Jolly Roger Lagoon. I'm going to show off a couple little things before we leave. For example, if we go over here to Pono's shop, I have some unfinished business here, because this guy has this one-eyed grunty plush, and I really want this thing. Can I, in fact, get that? <laughs> I love that shot there, by the way, of Banjo's head just kind of sticking up. Stuff's been here for years, he'll never sell some of it. I beg to differ, I'm willing to pay the, you know, a high price for that grunty plush there. You know, they could have sold me it in this game with the two doubloons. I mean, if not, I just have these two doubloons for eternity. And then you can go in jollies, and... It looks to me like you can come in here and just shoot the door like this whenever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how the respawning of that works. I'm not sure if you have to leave and come back, or leave the level and come back, but it looks to me like you can just keep blowing that door up over and over again. We've also got this pesky jukebox that doesn't work. I want to listen to some tunes, man. A bar isn't a bar without music. So just to look at our totals, it's, what's pretty interesting about Jolly Roger is how much you can't do quite yet. You see that we got three jiggies we can't get yet, and a Cheeto page on top of that. So I'm just going to go around and refresh what those are. We have the pigs here to save. We have to help the temperature of the pool. And the freaky arm. I don't know if we can do anything about that, but... We do need to worry about the temperature. And then we got this Jiggy up there just staring and laughing at us that we can't quite reach. And the next Jiggy that we can't get yet... Oh wait, there's a sign here. Once again, the signs always have some hint that I've already taken care of. <laughs> So, it's always useless. And then we have Tip Tup's offspring. His egg that we cannot hatch. I can maybe throw a grenade at, egg at it or something, but eh, don't want to overkill the thing. And no, the Beak Buster doesn't work. And then down here in Atlantis, in the ancient swimming baths, much like that other Jiggy, we've got a high up Cheeto page that we just cannot reach. Can't reach up, can't grab it. It's just staring at us. So with that, we're going to bid farewell to Jolly Roger Lagoon, but not forever. we got quite a good amount of stuff left to do here. But that's going to do it for now. So next time, we will take care of some fancy backtracking, you know, that we all love. Revisit some old areas, and then head on to the next major area of the game. Thank you for watching, my friends. Farewell until we meet again.